Okay, there we go. Hey folks, how you doing? So uh, you've just found out about the uh, iguana egg or Satori and uh, you realize you can't get back in and get it, but you can. As of 1.6, you can still get back into Compeki Plaza and the penthouse suite. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The method is pretty much the same uh, for the most part as all previous methods, but the, this is just showing you it does work in 1.6. Okay, so I start off at California and Pershing. And I go to this junction here. Okay, I'm just gonna speed up this footage, not to hide my crash or anything. <laughs> now this road is closed, so we're gonna jump over this here. D double jump does it. I'd imagine long jump does it as well. Um, and again, yeah. let's, uh, let's go ahead and speed up this footage here because you can't actually spawn a vehicle on this stretch of road. Now there's Compeki Plaza. We're gonna jump onto this skip and we're gonna jump over this barbed wire fence here. I have a perk that stops you getting knocked back, which makes jumping over barbed wire fence very easy. It doesn't hurt you that much. Anywhere here you can jump over and bingo, yeah. you're into the grounds of Compeki Plaza without getting your feet wet having to swim around, which I think is nice. Okay, so once you're in, you want to make your way around to the entrance, which is at the back of the building. Some people come here and these shutters aren't down, but for me, they were down and there is a way to get them open. Now, first thing you got to do is summon your car and it'll smash through the barricade and come to you here. Now, this is the tricky part. Um, So I've seen videos on how to do this and this was my best guess about where to place the car. It took me a few tries to get it and jumped over the car and you kind of slot in between the car and the gate and it just kind of forces the gate open. Ta-da, you are in Compeki Plaza. Um, it takes a bit of fiddling, but you'll get there. Now you can explore to your heart's content. So basically, we gotta follow our way all the way back up. You're basically retracing your steps from the mission, the heist. You're going back the way you came. Yeah, that's closed. Don't wanna go that way. Around here. Now, where are we going? Oh yeah, this way. Now, you must slide there because you have to look cool doing this. Now, this is where things have changed. I think 1.5, this actually changed, but these trees here are significant. We'll come back to them in a second. What you used to be able to do was go in here, as far as I remember, and this is the area where you land with Jackito when he's injured after you slide down. Now, what you used to be able to do, and you can't do anymore, and I'm gonna demo that first. Just take a few seconds, you jump up here. Here, where do I jump to? There you go. And you jump up onto this one over here. Oh, great, great, I missed it. Right now, you can't actually jump through that anymore. There is an invisible barrier there, and I'll show you. See, bang, hit me head. So, there's absolutely no way through there. And I'll show you from the other end in a minute or two uh, why that is. So we're just gonna back up to those trees I showed you earlier because they may have blocked that glass and they will block this one as well, probably in the next patch. So this is probably your last chance. <laughs> but you jump onto this tree here and quick save here because this next bit is tricky. And jump up onto that there. And there you go. You're straight through that skylight and uh, the, the rest is fairly easy. So have an explore. I tend to dick around too much, which makes editing very difficult. <laughs> There we go. Um, you want to go to this fence ahead of us here because you can't simply jump up like that. It's uh, not possible. So you got to jump up on here just like this. Oh, just like, just like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> just, there we go. Yeah, a little double jump helped that and then double jump up here. And there we go. Now the next bit's easy enough as well. Just move back to the edge here and jump up onto this bit. This is the bit you slide down with Jackie. This is another bit that made a little bit trickier. There's a couple of invisible barriers above you here, so you have to kind of jump at an angle there and you're on. And there we go. You're on the ledge and you're back inside. Ah, Jesus, very bleached looking today. 
why is it so like that when it wasn't like that down below? I, maybe, oh, we're in the clouds, I suppose. I wonder if skipping some time, making it nighttime is going to improve things a little. It kind of was early morning, wasn't it? Let's have a look. And now it's just darker. Yeah, it must just be cloudy today. Anyway, um, so you can have an explore around um, and see what you can find. And of course, there's poor old Arasaka. They still haven't collected his body. It's disgraceful. What's this on the table? Relic. Oh, right. OK. Do you know what? I've never read that. I must. Um, I'll have a look at that in the mirror or at least in a photo editing program. I'll reverse it or something. This is where you get the iguana egg if you didn't get it. And then if you want to, again, of course, get Satori. You just go up here. Now, I've not forgotten Satori in a long time, but I believe it'll just be kind of hovering here in the air, still collectible. Um, the AV will be gone, but the uh, weapon and the data bank will still be there. And there you go. Now, just to show you what I was talking about earlier. First, you've got to recreate the scene. Hey, Jackie, jump. Ah, no. And then pretend to slide down. And then invisible box. And there we go. We are done. And that's how you get back into Compeki as of 1.6. It'll probably be patched come 1.6 something or 1.7 or something. But uh, for now, that's that's how you get back in if you want to get the story. And uh, sorry for, uh, yeah, sorry for partaking in game breaking. But there you go. It is what it is. I hope that was useful to you. I'll see you in my next video. Take care, folks. Bye.